number systems we have a question we should convert 26 which is in base 10 that is, is in the decimal notation we have to convert it to binary the hexadecimal and then the octal notation this is very simple let's quickly do this so 26 in base 10 let's first convert it to binary that's much easier to do so if we have 26 we have 26 Okay, so what we do is that you start from 1. So 1, you multiply 1 by 2, we get 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2 is 32. So let's stop at 32. The reason why we are stopping at 32 is because 32 is bigger than 26. So we stop at the number at, at 32. So good. Now, what, there's, what we have to do is that, that one of the easy or simple, simple ways I do this is I find a way to add the numbers here. So how can I add this number so that I'll get um, 26? I see that 16 plus 4, 16 plus 4 is 24, right? And 24 plus 2 is 26. So 16 plus um, 8, sorry, 16 plus 8, 16 plus 8 is 24. Then 24 plus 2 is 28. So the numbers that are involved in the addition, that's when you write the ones. Then you put zero at the other ends. So here is it. So we've converted it to binary, right? So solution. So in binary, we have in binary notation, we have one one zero one zero. So one one zero one zero. In base 2, binary means that we are solving our question in base 2. Okay, let's move on. So we've converted it to binary. From binary, we are safe. We can easily convert it to all the other bases we want. Okay, but I won't play this one. So let's first say that I want to convert it to octal. So the number in binary is 11010. Okay, good. If you want to convert it to octal, Octal is base 8, and base 8 is written as 2 exponent 3. Now, hexadecimal is 2 exponent 4. So, for octal, we create 3 divisions. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, there's no third number, so we put 0 there. This is what we we'll do for octal. For hexadecimal, we we'll rather create 4 divisions. So, we have 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. For hexadecimal, since it's 2 exponent 4, we create 4 division. So 1, 2, 3, 4. We also have to count 4 numbers. So since they are not there, we can just fix them there. Because the 0 doesn't even change the, the value of the number. Then now what we do is that we subject these two exponents. So we first start with 1. You multiply 1 by 2 to get this. You multiply 2 by 2 to get this. Then you start the count again. Since there was a division here. So 1, 2, 4 again. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 1, 2, 4, 8. Good. Now, what we'll do is that we multiply 1 by 1 to have 1. 2 times 2, two is 2. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So you write that 3 here. Then here is just 2 alone. Because 2 times 1 is 2. 4 times 0 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. So we have this number will be written as 32. And since it's octal, it's 32 base 8. So in octal notation, in octal notation, the answer will be 32 to the base 8. Now let's do the hexadecimal notation. So for hexadecimal, we've already created our four divisions. So 1 times this is 0, 2 times 1 is 2, 4 times 0 is 0, 8 times this is 8. So 2 plus 8 is 10. Then this is 0, 8 times 0 is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, 1 times 1 is 1. 1. So we have 1 and then we have 10. But since it's in hexadecimal, we wouldn't write the answer as 110. No, if we do that, we are wrong. For hexadecimal, 10 is A. For hexadecimal, 10 is equal to A, 11 is equal to B, 12 is equal to C, 13 is equal to D, 14 is equal to E, 15 is equal to F. So since here is 10, we will represent it with A. So we'll write our answer as 1A, and where the A is 10. 
So for hexadecimal notation, our answer will be 1 and then A. So that's how we solve the question. There are so many questions we are still solving. So stay tuned for more educational videos. All the best. Never give up. Be strong. Know that you can do this. Your God is a very great person. You have a great mind. And never give up. And you always achieve whatever you want to achieve. So all the best to you. Bye-bye. Thank you.